Hi everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we'll be taking a look at a cool new technology from NVIDIA called GeForce 3D Vision. NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision is a technology that brings 3D stereoscopic gaming to PC users. Now the technology consists of a couple different components. One being the glasses, which are active shutter glasses and an IR transmitter that helps control the shuttering speed. A display technology, such as the LCD screen you see here, and the software which is integrated through the NVIDIA driver in a new piece of NVIDIA software. The hardware that NVIDIA provides with GeForce 3D Vision is actually all pretty high quality. The glasses, as you can see, are fairly well built and are really not that bad in terms of nerdiness factor, especially when you take into account previous 3D glasses. Up top here, you'll see a simple power button and also an LED light, green to indicate a good charge, red to indicate it needs to be hooked back up to the USB connection which is located here on the bottom and is a simple USB mini plug. You'll get about 40 hours worth of gameplay. On the front is the IR receiver that uh, receives a signal from the transmitter and actually tells the glasses when to turn off which light. The nose piece is actually removable and adjustable to different sizes so that anybody wearing glasses should be able to wear these GeForce 3D Vision goggles over them. Now this is the infrared transmitter that's responsible for syncing the glasses with your computer. This button on the front turns on and turns off the 3D feature. You can even do that in-game. On the back here is a mini USB connection for communications with your computer and a 3D sync in port that connects to a DLP TV if that's your display of choice. This wheel is actually pretty interesting in that it will dynamically adjust the depth of the 3D effect. Scrolling, putting the scroll wheel up will make it a very shallow effect while pushing it all the way down will make it a very more, a much more dramatic effect uh, depending on your personal preference. NVIDIA did inc does include a nice cleaning cloth and glasses case to uh, keep your $200 lenses fairly well protected. Now the system also comes with pretty much all the cables you'll need including this DVI to HDMI cable to connect your television and you'll also get a pair of USB cables, standard to many, one for charging your glasses and one for connecting your InfraMed transmitter to the PC. Finally, you get this cable that is used to connect your DLP TV to the PC and the InfraMed transmitter to keep everything in sync. Installation is pretty straightforward. Sync cable plugs into the right side, mini USB cable plugs into the left side and install the software, set up the uh, transmitter on top of your monitor and you're good to go. Now these glasses aren't the coolest thing in the world but they get the job done and they sure are a lot better looking than other active shutter 3D glasses we have seen on the market. If you don't have a 3D ready DLP TV that means that in addition to the price of the GeForce 3D Vision kit that you have to buy, you are going to have to get a new display of some kind, either a 120Hz LCD screen or one of the 3D Ready DLPs. The estimated pricing on these screens is about $399. That's not exactly cheap for a 22-inch screen, but it's not completely out of the ballpark of where we see other monitors. And it is a very high-quality standard 2D monitor as well. Now, I just recently found DLP TVs, a 60-inch 3D-ready Mitsubishi, going for under $1,000 at H.H. H. Craig and Best Buy. So keep that in mind if you might need a new TV upgrade anyway. Our problem with testing GeForce 3D Vision is that it's really not a numbers game. Yes, we can show you some benchmarks that show how performance degrades going from a 2D image to a 3D image, and we have those in our article as well, but it's really an experience-driven technology. You won't know what you think about it until you see it. And even on video, I can't show you what it's going to look like. It's just not technically possible. I can show you screenshots of what a split image looks like. I can show you what the 2D flat image works. But without your eyes actually seeing it, you're not going to know what it's like. 
the best I could come up with is to take the GeForce 3D Vision setup that I'd made for my own testing, and I took it to a local Best Buy store where customers and employees sat down in front of a computer with the display on a uh, DLP TV, and I got some of their reaction. And I think you'll find that they were pretty excited about it. <laughs> you don't have to have, I know. Pretty much every person we surveyed was impressed with the technology, and even most of them went as far as to say they would like to buy a set of these glasses. Now the real test will come when the retail availability is there, and how many of them they actually sell. Now I'm sure you're curious what the GeForce 3D Vision is actually going to cost you. The price that NVIDIA has set on the kit is $199. Now while at first I thought this seemed kind of high for a pair of 3D shutter glasses infrared transmitter and software and cables, it turns out that during my survey at Best Buy, everyone that played with the technology didn't seem to think that that price was out of range. Perhaps NVIDIA's marketing team 
has it right on this one. The one caveat to GeForce 3D Vision really comes down to your display technology. Chances are none of you have a true 120Hz LCD screen on your desktop today. Sitting here next to me, mostly out of frame, is one of the first two true 120Hz LCD screens that will be available this month. This model happens to be from Samsung, there's another one from ViewSonic. Right now, LCD screens that are capable of handling 120Hz of pure bandwidth, of 120Hz of uncompressed data, are really limited to a 22-inch screen size. Now, if you want to go any bigger than that, DLP TV is the way to go for today as well. You may have noticed on some Mitsubishi and Samsung DLPs that have been released in the last year, there's a little feature called 3D Ready. Didn't really know what it was used for, this is exactly the type of technology they were designed to utilize. Overall, I have to say I've been pretty impressed with the NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision glasses and 3D setup. What I originally thought would be a pretty gimmicky feature for gaming actually it turned out to be quite fun. And as you saw with my interaction with other people using the technology, it seems to be the case that that's the opinion for just about everybody. Now, $199 is really not that much of a price, uh, price of entry to get into this type of technology. However, if you do not have the, the monitor and, or DLP TV set up, that does increase your point of entry pretty dramatically. If you already have a 3D ready DLP and have had any interest in putting a gaming computer by your TV in your living room or wherever it is, this is the best chance and opportunity for you to do so. If you don't have a DLP, have been looking for an upgrade, might be uh, an avenue for you to look into. But if you're pretty happy with your gaming setup now, don't have a desire or the extra funds to really look into a, a new 22 inch 120 hertz LCD monitor, this might be something you want to wait on until the technology is more pervasive in other displays. I would expect in 2009 to see plasma and LCD TVs of all sizes and shapes and prices to start implementing this technology. And as additional LCD monitors come out with the technology, prices, sh prices should come down and maybe we'll even see some larger panel sizes as well. If you want more information about NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision technology, go to our website at PCPER.com. I'm Ryan Shrout. Thanks for watching.